Ever since Barcelona lost Neymar back in 2017 for about 200 million euro, they have not been the same since, have they? It was pretty naive of them to put that bio clause in the first place in that sort of market. And since then, they spent stupid amounts of money on players that they probably didn't need. They just went big guns out and they on Dembele for 100 million euro, Coutinho for 150 million euro, Griezmann for 100 million euro. And then by the end of it, Coutinho goes to Aston Villa on loan, gets sold by Barcelona to Aston Villa for about 25 million pounds. Dembele is given a new contract extension, fair play. And Griezmann is sold back to Alelago Madrid for about a third of the money. What the fuck? But they have learned their lesson, Barcelona, to a certain degree. They put a billion euro into Pedri's contract. They're just probably hoping someone pays that, honestly, at this point. Not only they spend such stupid money on players, they also offer ridiculous contracts to their existing players. Messi, of course, was on over 1.4 million euro per week. Anton Griezmann was on 800k per week. Frankie de Jong right now is on 420k a week. And guess what? Surprise, surprise, they can't even play these players. Messi, of course, had to leave. He was willing to take a 50% pay cut. We know the whole drama. Hence why he's in the thumbnail crying his eyes out. Frankie de Jong is owed 17 million euro. PK is owed 40 million euro from the club. And the club are actually disgraced with the way they respond to this. Instead of paying the players what they're actually agreed upon, they say, hey, do you want to take a pay cut because you love the club so much? Oh, hey, we'll give you a future coaching role at the club. What the fuck? What is Frankie de Jong thinking right now? He sees Rafinha being signed. He sees Lewandowski being fined. He's seeing Kunde being signed. The wages of these players aren't too bad, but they're spending over 100 millions of quid from on these players. Instead of giving this money back to Frankie Dion, and Gary Neville's right, Frankie Dion should take legal action against Barcelona. If the pandemic never happened, Barcelona probably would be making about 1 billion euro in revenue. But of course, when the pandemic happened, you couldn't get the tourist money coming in because you go to Barcelona, you do want to see a Barcelona game. That results in Messi leaving and the revenue streams were down by like 30%. And then of course you have the La Liga squad cost limit. And of course, if you're over the squad limit, you're gonna to have to sell a shit ton before you can make signings. And over the last three years, Barcelona have gone from a squad cost limit of 600 million euro, so they could spend this money away on their squad, down to min minus 144 million euro. Currently Barcelona have to sell 140 million euros worth of assets and then maybe a, a further 100 million more just to spend 100 million euro and to do this Barcelona are pulling levers they're allowing their fans to play on Camp Nou for a certain amount of time like 300 euro for a game of 45 minutes on Camp Nou if I was living in Barcelona I definitely would do it I'm not gonna lie they're selling about 25 30 percent of their future TV uh, rights for the next 25 years and they're getting about 500 million euro up front and they're using that money to buy players like Lewandowski and Koundé and of course, Rafinha, Christensen, I keep forgetting about Christensen, he joined Barcelona. And they're using that money to buy the players and then also register them. Because even if you buy the player and you're breaking the squad cost limit rule, you cannot register them. And that's what I don't understand about Barcelona. They're selling these future revenue streams and they're not paying their existing players. It's absolutely disgraceful. Barcelona right now are hoping for the Super League to happen again. That's why they're all over that. That's why they wanted 325 million euro per year guaranteed in a competition that would be all over the world. Could get a Saudi buyout because they sold a lot of their TV revenue future streams to third party companies in Saudi. Or they're hoping that La Liga bails them out because without Barcelona, no one's gonna fucking watch La Liga. I mean, since Ronaldo and Messi have left, the viewers of La Liga have gone down significantly. And the only good thing about La Liga right now is the battle between Lewandowski and Benzema. And that's only been recent. My prediction is Frankie John will join Manchester United over this because he's owed a lot of money. He's using the fact to stay at the club as a negotiation tactic so he can get his actual money. Anyway, that's a quick video on Barcelona. I'm kind of bored of them. It was popping off the last two days on Twitter about Barcelona. And I don't know how they're doing this constantly. Buying players right now, rolling the dice shit. It, it's scary. And it's a, it's a fan-owned club to a certain degree. And it's shady as hell what's going on there. Anyway, my name's been Ryan. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.